Hey, 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 and welcome, my wonderful, wonderful Aries. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. As I am new here to YouTube, uh, my name is Kamoy, and I am a Reiki energy healer, uh, level 2 certified. So I also read uh, intuitively as well as symbolically through the cards, okay? What I do here on this channel is really to help anyone that is open to self-mastery of getting to know themselves as well as helping anyone one um, in this group of souls that are ascending and is trying to understand the energy, the energy that's going on in the atmosphere. Okay, so this is not for everyone. I totally get it. Um, however, I just think it's a due season and due time for those of us that are here in this room that has tons of information to share what we have, so we can help those um, that are ascending and um that are vibrating at higher levels okay uh now how i do my readings guys is simple is what i do weekly is i am going to be pulling uh two chakra cards which lets you know exactly what chakras your uh sign your zodiac sign may need to work on uh that's bringing you maybe challenge in your life okay and then i just really go with spirit and i also do another pull uh to kind of clarify maybe exactly uh the environment the situation the person place or thing um uh, where you may need to watch this energy as you're unblocking your chakras, okay? Uh, I am not going to get too much into the chakra system on how that works or even Reiki and how that Reiki works. We're just going to focus on your reading today. All right, guys. As I was meditating on my wonderful Aries today, guys, and we're doing your weekly reading for the week of March uh, uh, March 12th uh, to March 17th. Now, one of the things that you do need to know that, like I said, this is not for everybody, so you take what you need and you leave what you don't, okay? Uh, and also, energy is fluid, so it does not mean that this is going to happen right now. Uh, it could be energy that you're walking through. It could also be energy that you you will be uh, walking through, you know, maybe three or four months from now. Okay, so keep that in mind. Energy is fluid, so it can change at any time. You also want to be mindful of that, okay? So I just thank uh, my guys, my angels, my protectors, my ancestors, and all the higher vibrational energy that's going to be working with us today to bring in clear information and concise. Okay, so what chakras do you want my wonderful Aries to work on? Okay, so you guys have uh, impasse, with is, which is a sakal chakra, okay? That's right below your belly button. Okay, that means that there is decisions that you need to make. And I did hear, um, as I was meditating on you guys, I heard that song, I Can't Make You Love Me. Um, you know, like, turn down the lights. Um, I Can't Make You Love Me If You Don't Want, okay? Uh, and then you also have a crown chakra card, which is creation, okay? So what I hear... Um, what I hear for you guys, my wonderful Aries, is that you're definitely going to have to pay attention to your um, your sacral chakra. Now, your sacral chakra is your emotions, okay? So you're going to have to pay attention to your emotions, especially because we're in retrograde season. Uh, that means that maybe things are going to be coming back from the past that you need to deal with that you have not been dealing with, right? Uh, I do feel like, however, this is linked to an, uh, a relationship where you're going to have to make uh, decisions um, based from a a clearer path, a higher place within yourself, uh, as well as being able to balance uh, your emotions. So you're not going to be able to act emotionally in order for you to get resolution in, in, in this season, okay? That's just not going to work for you, okay? You're going to have to operate with your emotions being clear. Now, because you guys um, are the beginning of the zodiac sign, okay, you come in with that I am energy, right? And that I am energy energy is all about knowing who you are, okay? So what you may find yourself having to walk through as we transition through um, this energy is that standing strong in who you are, knowing who you are, understanding who you are, and allowing um, whatever decision that you're making is not going to be based uh, on you not knowing who you are. You're going to stand in your I amness, okay? I am confident. I am wise. You know, like... um. 
I am owning my shit. You know, it's important as we are shifting through this energy and I'm speaking to my empaths here. Okay, because these videos are really for, um, these videos are really, I feel like, um, for anybody, like I said, that's trying to get um, understanding of their spiritual paths. And I'm an empath, so I know these videos may primarily be for empaths because you guys have to pay attention to your chakras, okay? Uh, so, my wonderful Aries, you're going to have to pay attention um, to your emotions this week, which lies in your sacral chakra, okay? Uh, and then you have um, creation, which is... Uh, Crown chakra information, that's pure spirit. So you want to listen, get quiet, meditate. Okay, if you're not meditating, my wonderful Aries, you're going to have to do so. Okay, um, you're going to have to do so. Okay, now, I do feel like there's going to be um, communication coming in. Okay, Uh but I also feel like some of you definitely have a decision to make, okay? Because I feel like some of you are in a relationship um, where you can't rush it. You have to allow... You have to allow things to unfold naturally. Things are still developing. It kind of feels like one person um, has more feeling towards the other than the next person does, okay? Um, mm-hmm. And this could be somebody from your past. And this is not going to be a coincidence uh, because we are in Mercury retrograde, okay? Uh, but you you have you have that, uh, that um, like I said, I heard that song, I can't make you love me if you don't want to, okay? So I do have that song in my head. Um, so here, when impasse pops up, like I said, which is all about your emotions, okay? And I pulled the cards based on what um, Spirit is telling me. So I pulled the romance deck for you guys today because I really felt like this had to do with relationship, okay? So you're, at, you're in a relationship right now where decisions have to make. You have to make a choice. You have to make a decision. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I work this out? Okay? Um... And you need to be able to be guided, okay, by your spirit. Allow your spirit to guide you, okay? Because this is your emotions right here, right? And this is your higher self right here, okay? So you allow your spirit to guide you when you're making emotional decisions. Just don't go jumping, um, just don't go jumping off and popping off with your emotions in your mouth, right? Um, and saying negative things and rehashing shit from the past because this is definitely somebody from the past. Like I said, we're in retrograde, so I'm definitely feeling past energy, okay? Now, Keep in mind that this can also be your energy or the person's energy because energy is fluid, okay? So you want to pay attention to that also. So you want to, we start off with um, uh, expressing your love, okay? So it's okay, and, and, and I'm, I'm feeling really, um, I, I know I picked up like romance because I kept hearing I can't make you love me if you don't want to, okay? So there has to be some type of expression um, of love there. Um, you also have passion on the, uh, express your love. So, but it kind of feels like one person has more, uh, love and more passion towards the relationship at this point than the other person does. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. You have unrequited love here. And then you have past relationships. So this definitely tells me that somebody's feeling it more than the other. And this can be somebody from the past. So if it's not you, it's them. Somebody's definitely putting more energy towards how, you know, towards the relationship than the next person, right? And it could be that you guys reconnected recently, right? Or you guys rushed into the relationship and didn't take the time to get to know each other, right? Um, but it... it, it, it it, it, it also feels like um, it's not that there's not love there, right? It just feels like there's a lot of baggage there, okay? So it doesn't feel like there's not love there. So you guys need to take the time to get to know each other. And this is definitely contingent on expressing, okay? Um, there is definitely somebody feeling more than the other person, 
Um, this is a past relationship type, um, probably somebody that you broke up with and maybe got back together, okay? Um, maybe even if you're married to this person um, and you guys may have been separated and you're not, you know, thinking about working things out, right? Um, you need to get to a place where you're actually getting to know each other again. So go back to the basic, go back to that honeymoon phase and keep an open mind. Okay, keep an open mind when you do this, because like I said, you guys stand in that I am energy, you know, uh, so sometimes it can be all about I know what I'm going to do. I don't know what you going to do, but I know what I'm going to do. And you can be very bullheaded um, about the choices and the decisions that you make. Okay, so as you transition through this week and you're operating your chakra, uh, your, uh, your chakra chakra um energy right uh where this is dealing with your emotions once again pay attention when you're operating with your lover uh your husband you know your partner your wife you know pay attention to operate from your higher self balance your emotions you may want to quiet yourself before you actually react and speak okay so just pay attention to that that's going to be super super deep or important for you this week all right guys now um it's okay definitely to stand, like I said, in that energy of turn down, you know, um, I can't make you love me. You know, if you don't want to, you need to, that is where you need to stand in your, I, your, I am this, because I am hearing that you guys definitely needed to be strong in who you are. You don't want to compromise who you are because it kind of feels like that's what was going on in this relationship. Um, and if, if you're not the one that felt like you were compromising who you are, then they felt like, uh, their true selves were being compromised. You want to keep an open mind because when, um, when this card shows up, this tells you that your soulmate, um, may be different from what you think it is okay so you want to keep an open mind because it feels like this person challenges you it feels like this person calls you out on your shit um but sometimes it feels like they don't always do it um in it's not always done in sugar with with sugar on it okay um so just pay attention to that guys okay now you also want to be mindful um you also want to be mindful um, to, to drink plenty of water and try to get in some quiet time and some meditation time. That's definitely going to help you be able to balance your feelings and balance your emotions, okay? Um, so, stand in your truth. Stand in your truth, and if you're not the one standing in your truth, then they're going to be standing in their truth because there's a decision that needs to be made. I don't see, um, the only thing about here is I just see some past shit that need to be cleared up, and that can definitely be cleared up as you take the time to get to know each other again, okay, and keep an open mind, all right? I, I really don't see... I don't see that this this can work out. It's really just contingent on balancing your emotions and balancing your um your sacral chakra and allowing your crown chakra to guide you. Okay. All right, my wonderful Aries. I hope this was helpful for you guys and you have a wonderful week. And I'll catch you guys. Um I do Instagram dailies. Uh, I did not post the dailies today because I have not uploaded everything today. Just, just so you guys know, today is the 12th and we are vibrating on the number 8, which is all about new beginnings. So when you look at this video, um, this video is done with the vibration um, of new beginnings. Okay, the vibration date um, being in new beginnings. So take that beautiful read and i just think it's just a matter of you doing the work okay or them doing the work uh having that open communication okay thank you my lovelies i will see you guys next week in your weekly and check me out on instagram tomorrow i will be posting uh your daily okay just a little snapchat of what you may need to pay attention to tomorrow all right love you much enjoy your day